First things first. Are you saved? In order to understand the scriptures, you must be spiritual. The only way to be spiritual is to be saved. The only way to be saved is to personally trust in the work that Jesus Christ, the Son of God, did for you on the cross. He shed his blood to pay the price that all men owe because of our sins. He died, was buried, and rose again on the third day. If you realize that you are a sinner in need of a Savior, all you have to do to be saved is to put your trust in what Jesus did on your behalf. If you sincerely believe this truth in your heart by faith, then you are saved. The Holy Spirit immediately baptizes you into the body Christ and seals you with His Holy Spirit. You will never be separated from Him, and you now have the ability to understand the Scriptures. Romans 4 verse 5 KJB But to him that worketh not, but believeth on him that justifieth the ungodly, his faith is counted for righteousness. Ephesians 1.13 KB, In whom ye also trusted, after that ye heard the word of truth, the gospel of your salvation, in whom also after that ye believed, ye were sealed with that Holy Spirit of promise. Ephesians 2.8 KGB, For by grace are ye saved through faith, and that not of yourselves, it is the gift of God. Pray. This is not a requirement for salvation but it is a command of God found throughout Scripture. God desires us to communicate with us through His Holy Bible. Ask Him to help you believe the words of Scripture and to help you understand them. Luke 17 verse 5 And the apostles said unto the Lord, Increase our faith. Read. Each chapter of this study guide begins with the corresponding chapter of the book of Proverbs presented in its entirety. Read through it completely and carefully. Reading is a very important first step to learning. God preserved his words for us so that we would read them. Nehemiah 8 verse 8 So they read in the book in the law of God distinctly, and gave the sense, and caused them to understand the reading. 2 Corinthians 1 13 For we write none other things unto you than what you read or acknowledge, and I trust ye shall acknowledge even to the end. Ephesians 3 colon for whereby when ye read, ye may understand my knowledge in the mystery of Christ. 1 Thessalonians 5.27 I charge you by the Lord that this epistle be read unto all the holy brethren. 1 Timothy 4.13 Till I come, give attendance to reading, to exhortation, to doctrine. Believe the words of God. Unbelief makes the word of God ineffectual. Make the conscious choice to believe the words on the page of the Bible, whether you understand them or not. The Holy Spirit can only enlighten a true believer. 1 Thessalonians 2 verse 13 For this cause also thank we God without ceasing, because when ye received the word of God which ye heard of us, ye received it not as the word of men, but as it is in truth, the word of God which effectually worketh also in you that believe. Compare and contrast. Compare the first verses of each chapter with the last verses. Note any words or phrases that are similar or repeated, and also look for antonyms. Look for complete sentences. Grammar matters. Sometimes it can be helpful to find the middle verse or verses to confirm the theme of the chapter. Highlighters or colored pencils can be very helpful. Assign a particular color to words that are used repeatedly and use that color throughout the book. It is helpful to keep a note card with these keywords as a bookmark. For example, the word wisdom appears repeatedly in the book of Proverbs. Assign it a single color, such as blue, and use a blue highlighter to mark the word each time it is encountered. Search a concordance. Several free concordances are available online, such as www.biblegateway.com and www.blueleetirbiable.org. Each concordance has different search features, and as such, particular concordances are recommended for use in the weekly homework assignments. A physical copy of Strong's Exhaustive Concordance should be purchased as a backup should these online resources no longer be available. Read through the author's commentary. Please understand that this commentary is the author's personal study of the book of Proverbs using these methods. The reader may make different discoveries and come to different conclusions.
It is important for the student to read and study the word for himself in order to gain understanding of the scripture. Complete the homework. Each chapter has a corresponding homework assignment located at the end of each chapter. Take time to look up any cross-references listed here and study them in context of each word to get a solid biblical definition. In our next studies, each chapter can be completed in one week by individuals or as part of a group study. Permission is granted to make copies of the homework pages to share in a group setting. It is my prayer that the reader will find this study edifying. Mm-hmm.